Hey guys, today I'm doing another video in my video series of the best Android Wear apps, and today we're taking a look at LibreOffice Impress Remote. For those of you who don't know, LibreOffice is a free and open source office application that lets you do pretty much anything you could do in Word or PowerPoint or Excel. It's a whole suite of applications through LibreOffice. So it's really, really cool. If you've never checked it out, I highly recommend it. And it's free, so you can't beat the price. And what they've done now is they have a Android Wear application that allows you to control your slideshow presentations. And the Android Wear application is very basic. You just have a back and forward button, as well as play pause. And then up at the top, you have um, what I believe is supposed to show you how many slides you're at, so like one out of five slides. For me, it just keeps saying zero out of zero, so I think that's a bug that they need to work out. But other than that, the Android Wear application is very functional. It lets me go through my slideshow, which is really nice. And obviously, this is just a slideshow that I came up with in like two seconds. You can make really nice slideshows using LibreOffice. But my favorite thing about LibreOffice is that it runs on Windows, it runs on Linux, and it runs on Mac. And I use all three operating systems, so this is a big plus for me. I absolutely love that. And it's free, both the Android Wear application and the Office Suite itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you get this set up. In Mac, you would go to LibreOffice and go to Preferences, and I believe in Windows, it's Options instead. And then from there, you go under the LibreOffice menu, you go to Advanced, and then check Enable Experimental Features. It's already checked on my computer because I've already set this up, but you will need to do this on your computer. And then go to LibreOffice Impress, and then General, and then click Enable Remote Control, and that's what's going to enable the remote control functionality that we want, and click OK. And then go to Slideshow, and then finally click on Impress Remote, and you're gonna be prompted to enter a pin, and at this time you're gonna to need to go ahead and load up the phone portion of the app, and now you can see I have the phone portion loaded up. I'm connected via Wi-Fi, and I will select my MacBook Pro, which automatically showed up, and then I'm gonna put in the pin, which for me is 1903, but it's a random pin, so it'll be something different for you. And now my phone is connected to my computer via Wi-Fi, and then I can control the slideshow using my phone as well as my watch. Now the phone is also really cool. I, they've put way more functionality into the phone app. You can see that they've really put some effort into this phone app portion. I really like the way they've done it with the nice transitions and being able to see a little miniature slide on your phone. I wish they'd put that much work into the GUI on the Android Wear version, but I'm sure that will come in the future. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of how they did the GUI. The buttons are a little bit small on the Android Wear version, but that's something easy to change. They've got the basics down of the functionality, which is really cool. And like I said, why I love this app is because it works on Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it's free. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in learning more about any of the apps you saw in this video, you can find their Google Play download links in the description below. I always love hearing your feedback, so leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And finally, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to stay up to date with the latest apps and Android Wear developments, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.